snoring is not O S A S. I am Dr. Sanjeev Gupta, practicing ENT surgeon at Apollo Hospital, Bhubaneswar. I would like to tell you about O A S O S A S. O S A S means obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. It happens in individuals who are snoring at night most of the time, and also as having stoppage of breathing during the night at least seven times or more. So when a patient stops breathing at night, his oxygen level goes down, his carbon dioxide level goes up, and it wakes him up from sleep, and his breathing also stops, and then it wakes him up from his sleep. Repeatedly getting up from sleep at nights leads to a very poor quality of sleep. And so when the patient gets up in the morning, he is drowsy, he doesn't feel fresh, and that during the day he is unable to carry out his normal activities. He is unable to be alert throughout the day, and at times he will sleep off during the day, even in sitting position. OSAS is a dangerous disease which causes problems with the individual's blood pressure. It causes problem with his heart. It causes problem with his sexual functions. It causes problem with his psychomotor functions, and it leads to a very gives him a very poor quality of life. OSAS has been a, a problem of the rich, especially because most of the time it gets precipitated by overweight and overweight individuals with obstruction in the nose or throat and sedentary lifestyle leads to OSAS sometimes even in thin individuals you will get OSAS if they have gross obstruction in the nose which is also called DNS in the nose also if they have a long soft palate which means a long palate in the throat and also if they have bulky tongue will also cause narrowing of the air passage and these are the common causes for OSAS so if you are getting having these symptoms we need to consult a doctor and also start the treatment which is a long term treatment the firm diagnosis of OSAS can be made by polysomnography or sleep study sleep study can be done either in a sleep lab in the hospital or it can even be done at home at home a basic sleep study can be done which will record your air flow snoring and saturation level in the sleep study at hospital eeg recording that means the brain waves recording ecg recording that means the heart waves recording eog recording which means the eye movements is recorded as well as emg recording is also done which is electromyogram or the muscle which is muscle recording is also done at the same time oxygen monitoring is done bp monitoring is done and in the in the whole sleep cycle in the sleep lab in the hospital the patient has to sleep inside the hospital sleep lab and next morning he is given a report uh, sleep uh, osas can be classified according to the number of times he wakes up in the night with desaturation and sleep disturbance osas can be classified as mild moderate or severe when you are having uh, apnea or stoppage of breathing during the sleep cycle as more than 5 episodes per night it is classified as mild sleep apnea when it is moderate it is called moderate when it is more than 15 apneas per night and severe when it is more than 30 apneas per night mild apneas mild osas can be treated with the simple measures like uh, reducing the body weight regular exercises to increase the body tone also by sleeping on this side position and doing ex- exercises if it is moderate or severe uh, sleep apnea one needs uh, more help and the be- uh, best thing to do is to take us auto cpap machine where a machine delivers uh, air uh, during sleep at a higher pressure so that the air reaches the lungs and the body properly 
and it uh, overcomes the narrow passage of the respiratory tract after uh, auto cpap one has to one also desires to be auto cpap free then one has to think of doing a surgery the basic simple measures is basically to go and visit a dentist and try and get a oral appliance where a dentist will uh, tailor make a appliance to fit in your mouth in such a way that your jaw is pulled forwards during the sleep when the jaw is moved forwards the it opens up the airway and it may help you in your sleep apnea in reducing your sleep apnea also other surgeries are mentioned which with questionable benefits if there is a dns a dns can be corrected which will help in improving the os if there is a long uh, soft palate laser uvula uvulectomy can be done to re- reduce the size of the soft palate if there is large tonsils uh, compromising the airway a tonsil surgery can also be done to help in the uh, opening up the air passage however these surgeries are only adjunct to the main therapy which is basically a lifestyle changes which includes reducing body weight to at least a minimum of 10% of the base base weight also by exercising minimum half an hour per day and re- reducing your calorie intake stopping uh, intake of alcohol and sedatives but uh, lifestyle changes will also will is the mainstay of treatment of osas and it is supplemented by uh, oral appliances cpap and uh, multiple types of surgeries which help in re- relieving your symptoms